see him in this car. Lap for lap, he's improving. I'm buzzing for this one. Oh, here we go. Robbie Burgoyne leading in in Brotherford. A lovely pick. Oh, a lovely flick from Ian. But did he overall tell him too much like he think he did? Yeah, now he has to bend that car to try to get back in. Robbie is on a lovely lead run, but Ian is finally close to proximity. Just coming into the second half of his course. Lovely snappy transition. Lucky to not make contact as they come around the last hairpin. Robbie put the score, but Ian still with him. It's all going to come down to that first. There it is, Mike. There we oh, go. He gives the signal and off, off they go. We go in Rutherford to lead in now. Robbie McGoin, look how close Robbie McGoin is to the back of Ian Rutherford's car. Ian Rutherford on the last wide line, but Robbie McGoin is not letting him get away at all. Look at it, it's almost contact now as they come down into the first airbit. Just a little bit, giving him a little bit of room to maneuver, but jump straight back on. Oh, look what at the a rotation. Dive from Robbie. From Robbie McGoin, and he is right on the side. And Ian Rutherford as they come over the line. We're going there. We shall see as they lead the track. We're going to lead in. That's a, a nice entry there, but a little bit shallow. Jamie Stanton on his rear quarter as they come down. Off of the hairpin, Jamie Stanton now starting to make a dive, and Robert McGoin doesn't quite get the proximity he was hoping for. There's oh, another dive now! Transition. Saving it all oh, up for then, but I, oh, I think the over rotation have messed up a little bit. You know, Forrest and Jamie just maybe got it wrong there coming through Here the score. Now we got the signal. And off they go. Jamie Stanton to lead out. Robert McGoin. Robert McCoy not giving Jamie Stanton an inch there as he climbs up on the door right at the, front, at the start as they come down off of the bank now. Nice angle there from Jamie Stanton. Robert McCoy in a little bit of a gap. Is he going to give him some room to manoeuvre then dive back onto oh, the rear quarter through the second part of the track and look how close he is as they come from point seven and over the line. Ooh, anyways, <laughs> here we go, Robert Burgoyne to lead out Oliver Baker as Robert Burgoyne throws a huge initiation. angle, Oliver Baker Look at Oliver Baker, oh, oh nice balls. He just couldn't get it back on angle Oh, big straight from Oliver Baker, can he make it up now with the second part of this battle He does try to make a dive again, he makes a he huge dive he on the side of Robert Burgoyne Look at how close he is to Robert Burgoyne's car now the line. Robert McGoin can still make a massive mistake well, like, now. There's an advantage to Robert McGoin, but it's not a 10-0. No, man. exactly. So, anything can happen. Oh, oh no. no! No! Oh, it's going just about. Oliver Baker seems to pick up after a little bit of a problem there at the start. But he is definitely flying now as he comes through the first hairpin. And Robbie McGoin is right with him as he dances through the smoke and oh. glides over the ball, Oliver Baker. I'm uh, wondering if I've been at the clutch issue there, Mike. Oh, overtaken by Robbie Burgoyne. They get the go ahead and off they go. Robbie Burgoyne to lead in and there's Fraskellis now. Oh, look how look close Fraskellis is and look at the angle Robbie Burgoyne's at. Robbie Burgoyne's just steeps with him. Oh, just for a minute there, then has to cut the track massively to get the proximity back. And now he's back with Robbie McGoin. Robbie McGoin on a fantastic lead line. Fischkenis cutting the track now by jumping onto the rear quarter of Robbie McGoin as they cross the line. <laughs> Three times sure that that he did. Oh, oh, Jay, Come on, there we go. Right, um, here's Fischkenis now leading out Robbie McGoin. The final here for both P sides. Thomas was just throwing it in, Robbie McCoy! Not no, really no, having an opportunity. answer! To Fuskelis' pace, Fuskelis marches on Robert McCoy, just trying to make a dive as they come into the hairpin, but Fuskelis storming off. Can Robbie McCoy get on the rear quarter? Does just about as they come over the line. Ah. Oh, there gives a signal, it's Robbie McGoin to lead, Armas for Skellis to chase, 
Romney is flat on the straight rank. And Manjibo, look at Armis. He is ready to make a oh. fight. Huge fight from the sky. Wow, look at Absolutely Armis. touching that BMW all the way around South Bank. This is a phenomenal chase for Irish Scouts. He is not letting this round one win get away from him. He is craving that BBC Pro Championship. But Robbie McGoin, what a lead run. Absolutely yeah. giving yeah. him everything. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for Armis for Scouts. We are ready. Rob McGoin, second place. The best for Skellis in the first place. There we go. The Skellis leads out. Rob McGoin is millimeters off his bumper. Big entry there from Skellis. But Rob McGoin is right with him. Not by the proximity of Skellis. But he does now creep up on the Skellis as they come down into the first airfit. The Skellis seems to be driving away a little bit. Rob McGoin needs to make a dive now. And he does make a dive onto the 